It's, it's, it's grown over the last 10 years. <clears throat> when I started, I was interested in just the cooking and just being out there cooking. But things change over time. Um, and, and the people, the public, uh, want to know, you know, what, they, what their needs are changes. Mm -hmm. So what I've been trying to do, first of all, is to glamorize the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to glamorize the kitchen because we're not cooking, you know, the Kenyan girl, 25 year old, 22 year old, we're not cooking anymore. We've become modern city girls, you know, especially the city girl. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to cook anymore. That's, mm -hmm. what, that's what grandma used to do. You know, and that's for old and frumpy people. You know what I mean? You know? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and we're losing the family connection, we're losing the health connection, which is so tied into cooking at home. It's at home, at home. Eating out is wonderful, but you're not eating out all the time. You can't do that. <clears throat> the KFCs have come in the subways, but you can't you can't eat out all the time. You've got to cook home sometimes. And this is this is I feel the family we're losing it slowly. Um, and I wanted to glamorize the kitchen and show these, the youthful nation that we have, that um, first of all, you can make a career out of it. Second, you can still do your hair and do your makeup and be a girl mm -hmm. and, and still take care of baby and take care of baby. You can still do that. Call it super mom, call it whatever, but you can still, you know, I just, just to bring out the importance of, of cooking at home. Um, so I wanted to plan a the kitchen, and that was the beginning. But as I went on, I realized there's health, health issues. We are getting sick, Kenyans are getting sick from being too, too big, obesity, um, the high blood pressure, the, the prostate cancer, you know, the breast cancer. And it's, I think it's all related to food and our lifestyle, because our middle class is growing. And we aspire to all these nice things. But people don't know what it is that, what are the consequences when you are eating chips every day because you can afford it now, rather than eat the traditional thing that you were having before because you look down at it now because now you're, you know, you've got the money to buy something more, you know. Package or yeah, processed. Yeah. yeah, you know. And that's what happens. You, you, you get a bit more, um, uh, you get a bit more spending power. And you want to move away from the old stuff because you're looking, you know, you, you're thinking that's format stuff. It's and ironic that you, you you have more money, you eat less healthy food, yeah. Yeah. and you move away from the culture. But the less the less healthy stuff tastes so good. Yeah. 